Now to development on tap. The Packer plant used to be one of the key examples of Detroit decay, but since a developer bought it back in 2013 and promised new investment, there has been a lot of anticipation of what is to come. Well, Sven Gustafsson and Jer Stays from Daily Detroit have a look at where things stand now. Look, somebody uh, looks like somebody sledgehammered a door into the side of the brick there. I think that's kind of funny because it's not like there aren't a bunch of other places to get in this building. Yeah. Oh, and then right over here, look, there's a boat. Oh. Just a boat hanging out in a big pit. What is it with Detroit and the boats? Yeah. Detroit's Packard plant made news in January when the pedestrian bridge that connected the main north and south complexes collapsed onto East Grand Boulevard. Damage from the weather most likely caused the bridge to fall. The city of Detroit owns the building on one side of the bridge, while the other is owned by Art Express, the company run by Peruvian developer Fernando Pelizuelo. That led us at Daily Detroit to look more closely at what's going on at one of the city's most notorious symbols of decline. Our exclusive reporting started with that bridge collapse into East Grand Boulevard that just crumbled into the street. What did you find out after that? What we learned was that the Packard plant was actually in danger of foreclosure. The reality is, is they owe somewhere around $185,000 in unpaid drainage bills. And how do we know this? Through a Freedom of Information Act request that we did with the Detroit Water and Sewage Department, we were able to match that with property records and find out that there has not been anything paid on those for, you know, years. Hmm. So, Jared, let me get this straight. This guy's probably using next to no water here but yet he might be losing these buildings over unpaid water bills? So in the city of Detroit, you have to pay a drainage charge for all the impervious services that you have on your property. So think parking lots, think roofs, and this is all concrete and roofs. So in other words, where water runs off instead of trickling into the ground, into the groundwater. And the key there is that the city has to pay for that. All that sewage, that costs money to treat before it goes back out into the water system. The lawyer for Art Express told Daily Detroit they intend to take care of the bills but we haven't heard from him lately. The plant has a fascinating history dating back to 1903, designed by renowned architect Albert Kahn. At one time, the Packard Motor Car Company was a leading manufacturer of luxury automobiles. After World War II, consumers came to see Packard as having lost its flair. Cadillac surpassed Packard, which found its lineup of upscale vehicles a poor fit for a growing middle class. By the 1960s, Packard was no more. What about its more recent history then? There is this idea, especially online, that it sat vacant for years, but in fact, it served as an industrial park for many companies for decades, all the way up into the 1990s, until there was a contentious battle between the city and its owners at the time. And eventually, its owners got locked up for selling drugs. And man, back in those days, there were some big raves in this place. Palazuelo bought the complex out of tax foreclosure for about 400 grand six years ago with a groundbreaking for apartments, shops, and a brewery in 2017. Well, Jer, we're standing across the street from the Packard Plant Brewery. It says, coming soon, the Packard Plant Brewery. But, Jer, man, this doesn't look uh, like a brewery happening anytime soon. Yeah, I don't see any work, uh, any windows, any plastic. Actually, I don't even see anything happening. I know that there's been cleanup, but there's been no windows or anything for the plant down the road. Yeah. What, what do you think about the idea of a dining destination around here? I think it's going to be a tough sell, frankly. I mean, there's just not much here. They were saying mid-2019 opening date. That seems awfully ambitious at this point. While it seems slow going here, just around the corner, business is good. Nick Sakaj is the owner of the Royal Barbecue. Miller, what do you sell the most of here? Here, the fried chicken and barbecue. The ribs, the barbecue, we have very good barbecue. Sakaj has gotten to know the workers at the Packard operation, and he hears things. Lately, nothing for, for a couple months. I mean, three, four months, nothing happened so far. Jer, I'm really struck by the similarities with Michigan Central Station, the old abandoned train station downtown. Someday, maybe the same might happen here at Packard Plant. Regardless if this particular building is on this land or not, this could be a big piece of Detroit's comeback.